In today's video, I'll be showing you how I achieved this hair. It's going to be a long video, so brace yourselves. But the watch is worth it. And there will be a li little chit chat between while I make the hair. I hope you watch the video to the end. Thank you so much. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Our own subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing and staying subscribed to my channel. Our new subscribers, thank you so much for joining this family. Please like, comment, share my videos. It's a way of supporting me and letting me know that you like what I do on here. Please. I haven't done this before and it's the very first time so pardon me most of my videos that I make are actually spot on I don't practice the hair styles that I make I don't do them before I record myself I actually do them on the spot so whatever you see me doing is actually on the spot there's no pre recorded or pre-done, pre-practiced hair. I just do them on the spot. So I'll section my hair and the back will go for the ponytail and the front will be for the bang. So let's see how it goes. Let me know in the comment section if you prefer videos of me talking like I'm doing right now. We prefer the voiceovers. I just do the video, then afterwards I do the recording of my voice. Or you would prefer the videos where I um, write out the texts, write out exactly what I'm doing in texts. Just let me know. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to be subscribed to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, I actually do not like putting gel in my hair. I only really like it around. Start out with my gel. This is freshly washed hair. I just washed my hair. Use my leave-in conditioner, chibi, butter, and growth oil. Oh my god, my children are in the background playing. They're making so much noise. I stretched out my hair. Like I said, my hair is natural. I haven't retouched my hair in. I haven't touched my hair in five years. Please, you can use your preferred gel. You don't have to use this um, Tetals Black Gel. You can use Eco Styler Gel. I have Eco, but I don't really use it that much. I have Shine and Jam. I have Shine and Jam. And I have, um, oh, this is actually my best gel from Who does Hell Live In? It's my best gel, this is water-based gel. Oh my gosh, it works so well. One application alone can last you three to four or five days without having to reapply. But then, that also means you would have to tie a scarf. That's the best way to keep your gelled hair in place and intact. You would have to wear a scarf. Please, when you sleep, wear a scarf when you have your hair gelled. It helps you a whole lot because there are times when if you don't um, use a scarf you wake up the next morning having to go out you're having to run errands and you have to start applying gel all over again you know if you wear a scarf a satin scarf at that it would help you keep your gel hair in place and you don't have to start doing the reapplication of gel that morning or when you need to go out. So gel your hair. Try your best not to get gel on in this part. So I got a comment of a person asking if I was a teenager. <laughs> I was flattered yet perplexed. Like, do I look that young? I was shocked. <laughs> um, if you didn't know, I am a mom of three beautiful boys. I'm not a teenager, I'm in my 30s. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. 
just we have gotten on that part of my hair. Oh, that's an error. Okay, it's out. Oh, and please, when you're trying out this type, please match this part of your hair. Don't do what I just did. I left it all out, okay? Please mat it out. I mean, paint it or use a rubber band or a scrunchie. So, use the spritz. I actually have so not with my friends today. I've been ill and I really, really, really need to uh, hang out, to sit out, to chill and just just. So, as I'm not doing a bridal hairstyle today, not, not that I can't do a bridal hairstyle and go out with my friends, no, I can. But I wanted to try something else. This is me reapplying the gel again. You can choose to do this, you can choose to leave it as it already was after the spritz. The spritz has a spray gel. I won't get dressed while I'm putting on gel in my hair. No, I don't do that because I always get scared that the gel could pour. But if you have this, um, Salon Barber's cape that you can wear on yourself. That's fine. If it pulls on you, it will definitely stain your body or your outfit. So you get another rubber band or scrunchie. Or you could use a thread. A lot of persons use a thread because they feel it has a better hold. But I like the scrunchies because it's really way easy for me. For me. I don't have the energy for the thread. And then the rubber bands may easily snap because of how fragile rubber bands are. So after packing your hair with another rubber band or scrunchie or tying it, the second time or the second use of the scrunchie is because of the flyaways. After putting in the gel, the flyaways, the hairs that are still out there haven't gotten into your bone. So after doing that, you know, this is actually the reason why I use this black gel because it helps conceal my very thin edges and I don't have black hair my hair color is between goldish brown it's not it's not brown it's not brunette it's not black and there's a color I saw recently color 12 of lush red extension and that resonated well with me that actually is my hair color it's kind of goldish it's actually my natural hair color it's not brown it's not 33 it's not color 4 it's probably a mixture of color 4 and gold yes i think so, so that's my natural hair color this is what i'm using for today this cost about 4,500 naira. It's a tango free human hair quality fashion cream from Abigail. There are four colors mixed, so it just is four colors. It doesn't actually have a particular number of colors. So it's two inches, and it has four pieces, four bubbles. I already love the color. It's given a reddish brown ginger kind of feeling so I think I would be using maybe three bundles let's see how it goes so like I said I haven't done any of this before and I don't want to sew it in because I would want to use it for a ponytail I want to sew to make a ponytail because I wouldn't want to always attach hair on every time. No. So I'm trying this for the first time a bobby pin. I'm a beginner, and I guess you stumbling on my channel, you're also a beginner. So we're learning together, right? We're learning together. Passing through the leaf. Onto my hair. And 
I left the web double. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. No, definitely not. You could also take some part of it, the weave, go around your hair, like to make it a bit more secure. Around your hair. Also, you're more confident and that it won't unravel from your hair. Yeah. A lot of us want to do ponytails, but you dread having to sew in. Feel like it's maybe difficult. So I'm here to try it out and let you know if you can, if you can, if it's possible, if it's not possible. Okay. You just watch what I'm doing. expect to get it all perfect at once. Whatever you're doing, take your time. Perfect your craft. I know sometimes my videos may look like I'm a pro at it and well, especially when I speed it up, no, I'm not a pro at it. I'm a learner just like you are. It's taking me a year plus to get here. Still making my hair in April of 2021. And at least there's some hairstyle that I make that I know okay, I should put my hand this way, I should keep my hand that way. And that if I do this this way, it may not come out right, it may not come out okay. If I do it this way, it would come out right. So the more you keep doing your hair, the more you keep practicing. The more you get better at it, and you know, okay, yeah, I should do this and I should do, I should do this and I should do this, yeah. Just keep taking it around and around till you get to the top. At the end of the first web, I'm using a small bobby pin to hold it in place. Stays on. It's not like it's moving. The second one, do the same process. I'll do the same thing with the bobby pin. I'm sweating. I just went to have breakfast. out before I add the last weft. Okay, this is actually okay. 
I see our space here. And I want to color it up. Oh, just a little bit. Oh, no. I see that. <laughs> so, this is what we have after installing. I haven't covered here yet, so this is how it is. As you can see, there's a bobby pin. These bobby pins to secure everything. So, take a piece of hair. You can take as much as you want. on the roof Can use whatever spray you have. So give it a strong hold where it can stay. So it can stay in place a little longer. Mommy! Yeah, yelling, Mommy! Just trust the process, you don't always have to get everything perfect all at once. You don't have to always be perfect. So. Just do your best to get a good result. So it's time for the bang. I'm kind of anxious, but I don't know how. This will come out. I haven't done this before at all. I have no idea how it's going to come out. So I'm just going to use this to stretch the hair out again. I can't remember the last time I saw my hair this stretched out. Uh, it looks nice. So we're going in with this. I'm going to glue it in onto my hair using a bond. I'm going to go ahead to measure this is here to here. Measure and you cut. Then you apply your bond to it. It's not be like me. I didn't open my bun properly to the part where I'm supposed to just use it on the web is is <laughs> gone. So I'm using the bobby pin to take the bun inside the web. I have never done this before. Only on my lashes. <laughs> Not on the weave. I don't want so much of the bun on the weft. If you don't have a blow dryer, you can just blow on it to dry a little. Just dry a little. Then 
nascent of I don't have a kid where I am, but don't wait to tell us. So since it's a slant bank, I should have slanted the first um, pattern, which I didn't do. Usually just learn, or I usually just do this for the first time. When I'm making my videos, I've never attached a hair on before with oh, my one. No, I wasn't coming. Okay. Off to using my stretcher. I got this stretcher at a shop here in Bayonsa from Deco by Fume. And it works so well. It's so it's portable, you can take it to travel. It comes in a beautiful pack. It's travel friendly. While I'm waiting for the stretcher to get out, I would um, like to take this down a bit. It's not like I don't really want it long. So I would advise that you, um, after place, placing the weft on, you stretch your hair that you want to put on. As, like, after I finish putting the first weft, I should have stretched it out. I what I'm saying. Like with the stretcher. So I think I really love my hot comb better. <laughs> I think I love it better. So I'm switching, I'm switching over to this. Then I'll still come back with the I'll still come back with the stretcher for just the spot. Like the my bang is too thin, so I'm adding another because I need it thick. It's not as thick as I would really like. So I'm going to apply the same all over. So I'm just stretching it out to blend more with my hair. I didn't apply any cream or oil or anything to the hair because I didn't want to. first and this really came out nice Yay. did you like it 
Just tell me you loved it. Whoa. I just came to my mind that maybe I should use a spritz to hold my head down in place. I'm seeing some flyaways, so I'm going to apply more gel on my hair off camera and then we'll dry it again. So, I actually do not want to go dry the pony. Yeah. Should I? Should I? Okay, I think I would. Please now, let me finish what I'm doing. This is the open act. Oh my goodness. Could you come out? So we're almost at the end of this hair. Just want to do my sideburns. I've been new and I feel better today. So it's all out. My ginger hair color, my pepper red nails, which I love so much. If you know me, you know I love red. I love red. Red is my favorite color. Next to black. So I'm wearing two of my favorite colors. So this is the finished look of my hair. Please let me know. If you like this hair, if you think I did well, and if you would also like to do this hair, also let me know if there's any other hairstyle you would like me to try out for you to see. And my makeup is 10 over 10. 10 over 10. 10, 10 over 10. Thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment subscribe please subscribe to my channel help me tell your friends to subscribe to my channel tell your friends to like my videos tell your friends also to share my videos thank you so much